OMG BBG, welcome back to another epic BBG video. Today we are going bay hunting, but this bay hunt video is mainly for you guys. If you guys saw from a couple days ago, Beyblade X just dropped and I bought a ton of stuff. This video is more of like a guide for you for when you come to Tokyo. If you're a first time traveler visiting this country, you wanna go bay hunting, this is going to be a few spots that you can visit and hopefully have a good time at. So I'm gonna show you my favorite spots and tell you why I like them. And hopefully this will be some good information for you guys. Keep in mind that these spots are good to visit when Beyblade is current and actually on shelves being advertised for, when there's a manga, when there's an anime. If you're looking for more rare products, maybe some vintage ones, check out our other videos. Steven has done a ton of videos in Hong Kong and in Japan where he visits some more hidden spots where you can find some older bays. So we're gonna go through that underpass and then we're gonna be at the very first spot. Let's go. Our first store is Big Camera, specifically the Yurakucho location, which is Big Camera's flagship store. This branch is huge and conveniently located right outside the Yurakucho station. You can find Big Cameras throughout Tokyo, but this location has the most to offer. I highly recommend this location if you want to bay hunt and get some souvenir shopping done. This location hosts many special campaigns. They were promoting the new Tamagotchis when I went to this store. Big Camera Yurakucho has 10 floors that you can browse through. Products range from electronics, travel accessories, jewelry, food, and much more. But you want to focus on floor number four, which is a massive level that sells games and toys. You'll see big brands like Lego, Gundam's Gunpla, a huge PlayStation section, and on this floor, there's a corner with an arcade and a bunch of gatch. Overall, Big Camera Yurakucho is a super reliable spot to find your souvenirs and bays. All right, we found the Beyblade section. So nice that they have a little display. I mean, it's not the biggest, but at the same time, though, better than some other locations where they don't even put them up. Some of those other locations actually put their Beyblade products behind the counter when you go pay. So this is nice to see. They got all of the main stuff, really. The boosters, we got the starters, we got the triple set. And then we also have the Beyblade X Stadium as well. This is Lewis, by the way, a BBG subscriber. He spotted me while I was filming this video and he kept poking his head into the footage. It was really funny. It was nice meeting you, Lewis. Like I was saying, this big camera had the Extreme Stadium, the 3 and 3 deck set, pretty much everything except for Dronzer and the Bay Battle Pass. Big Camera didn't put in the most effort in terms of promotion for Beyblade X, but they had the best prices. Even on launch day, these products were about 20% off. And don't forget that Big Camera is a tax-free store for tourists. Another tip for you is that you can find coupons online on websites like Kluke. This store is huge and a must visit. So that wraps up Big Camera, the Yurakucho location specifically. But of course, remember you can go to any of those. They'll probably have Beyblades too. On to the next spot. All right, so this is spot number two. This is Hakuhinkan Toy Store in Ginza. This store is really fun, and I'm so happy that I'm able to show you guys this one. Ginza is a great place for you to start your travels in Tokyo. In my opinion, you won't experience quite as much culture shock exploring this neighborhood. Sure, there still might be a lot of people, but you'll see a ton of familiar brands and department stores that may be similar to ones in your home country. Some of these roads are closed off from traffic, so it's a pedestrian paradise. Perfect for exploring and bay hunting. All right, we're gonna head in now, but if you can't make it to Tokyo, don't worry, we still got you covered. Zen Market is still hosting their Zen Ya shipping campaign, so you can still save some big money. Spend over 10,000 yen and use the promo code Zen Ya to get a discount on international shipping. There's different tiers of discount levels, so the more you spend, the more you'll save. You can get up to 40% on shipping discounts. Don't forget that Zen Market can also help you buy other Japanese goods other than Beyblades. Their platform utilizes multiple marketplaces, so you're bound to find whatever you're looking for. We do have our own showcase page on Zen Market, which has a bunch of our Bay recommendations, so go and check that out. Zen Market will attach a small 300 yen fee for each item that you're purchasing, but if you sign up with our link, they'll waive the service fee for the first item. Beyblade X products have dropped everywhere now, so you can definitely find them online on all of Zen Market's marketplaces. They have a wide variety of products and you can use them for all future drops. So once again, if you can't make it to Tokyo, go check out Zen Market. All right, let's go bay hunt. Hakuhinkan Toy Park is a multi-level toy store that's been operating for over 40 years now. With its iconic spiral staircase in the center of the store, you'll find everything you want. Products range from stuffed toys, action figures, board games, Beyblades, puzzles, Lego, and of course Gundam. You can literally find everything here. Headed up to the third floor and I see the Beyblades already. Let's go. All right, here we go, Beyblade X, as soon as you get up to the top of the steps. 
Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> Beyblade X is a very popular item, so you can purchase up to one item per type. That's fair, because I was buying doubles and triples of quite a few things the other day. So it looks like Hakuhin Kan Toy Store has pretty much everything once again. They have all the boosters, they have the starters, we got the stadiums down there as well. Star Dash set too, very well organized. They might be a smidge more expensive than some other department stores. But the good news is that they actually have Dronzer just out here and displayed because other stores didn't. Um, the last spot that we showed you at that big camera, they didn't even have this one out on their shelves. The two products that I find are the most difficult to locate in stores are the Bay Battle Pass and Dronzer. Everyone probably wants these guys. Yeah, so even if this toy store it might be a little bit more expensive than some other department stores, for the extra 100 to 200 yen, probably worth picking up. Don't worry though, this is still a tax-free store, so at least you're saving a little bit there. All the cool stuff that you'll find as you explore all of the levels is totally worth it. Like this racing park on the top floor. You can pay a few hundred yen and race an RC car around this track. It's awesome. The game of life, but Demon Slayer version. I want this so bad. I have to leave this here for next time. This is sick, this is unreal. All right, all right. So that is Hakuhinkan Toy Park in Ginza. Spot number two, on to the third one, let's go. This is Yamashiroya in Ueno. If you enjoy your visit to Hakuhin Toy Park, you might like this store even more. It's another dedicated toy store with a convenient location right across from Ueno Station. It's also only a minute away from the very popular Amayoko shopping district. So you'll have tons to do when you visit this area. I came here close to the end of the night when the store was almost closing, thinking that it'd be quiet. Boy, was I wrong. The store was absolutely rammed, but luckily I didn't have to go very far to find the Beyblades. Beyblade X was conveniently on the first floor and had a pretty nice display. This was another example of a store that had pretty much everything except for Dronzer. These bays were being sold at MSRP if you were wondering. It was nice to see so many people come up to this area and add Beyblade X to their collection. A line was starting to form in that area so I felt bad filming there for so long, but it gave me a reason to explore the rest of the toy store. And other than the Beyblade section, the second floor was hands down my favorite. There was so much anime merchandise here, from a variety of different series. They even had a section for Spongebob. It was the first time I saw Deku's gloves for sale. Oshinoko might be the anime of the year for a ton of people, making it very easy to find merch for this series. I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, so I was ecstatic when I found this section on this floor. The Dragon Ball eye mask goes so hard. RIP to the GOAT, Rengoku. Can you believe that this replica of Tanjiro's sword sold out? The quality looks amazing. As you explore the upper levels of this store, you'll find even more products from various series. Of course, you'll see Gundam, Pokemon, and they had this awesome display of nano blocks with a bunch of recognizable characters. There were bare bricks and RC products. It was awesome seeing this glass display of these high quality Studio Ghibli sets. It's also Kirby's 31st birthday this year, so there was a ton of Kirby merch. They also set up a Minecraft pop-up store in the corner of the fifth floor. I know you guys would be super hyped to see this. Another popular area in this store was this eraser station. Essentially, you pay 500 yen to get this little bottle and you can fill it up with as many mini erasers as you want. There was a wide variety of designs from Mario to Pokemon to Splatoon. It was actually pretty cool. You guys will not regret going to Yamashiroya when you visit Tokyo. All right, very last spot, okay? If you guys watched my previous video where I went bay hunting on the actual day of the Beyblade X release, you would have seen this building behind me, which is Yorobashi Akiba, which is the flagship store for Yorobashi Camera. As the name suggests, it's in Akiba, or Akihabara, which is honestly the best place to be if you are a lover of anime. And if you're watching this video and you're into Beyblades, I'm assuming you love anime. Honestly, because of the neighborhood that this store is in, it's automatically my top pick. So let's go inside. This is the department store, meaning you can find a lot more than just Beyblades. If you're traveling in the summer, you're going to need one of these mini fans. Being an electronic store, you can find yourself some really high quality goods. They have TVs and graphic tablets, and of course, a ton of sick camera gear. I actually wish I had a full size tripod for my videos here in Tokyo, but I couldn't find any. I forgot where the bays were, so I had to use these high end binoculars, but it didn't help much. Unlike other department stores, Yorobashi Akiba is actually pretty spread out and has a lot of free space. After you're done goofing around like me, or exploring the lower levels, you'll want to head to the 6th floor, which have all the games, toys, and esports related products. This is where it gets really fun. 
you'll find your typical anime merchandise like small accessories, but they also stock some exclusive anime tees, so don't forget to check it out if you want to improve your drip. Stores like these wouldn't be complete without a Gunpla section, so of course you can find that, and a variety of different figurines, big and small. This flagship store has a huge section for Gatch, so make sure you check it out and find your favorite merch. The eSports Arena is next level. They have all the latest gaming goods and an entire area for you to sit down and try out a bunch of gaming chairs. Overall, a fantastic spot to come bay hunt in the motherland of anime. And this is the exact same spot where I shot a couple days ago. And look, I'm left speechless because there's no Beyblades left at all. We have the carrying case and we have the X05, the recolor of Wizard Arrow. So, pretty bare bone. I mean, this is kind of a good thing, right? It means that a lot of people are hyped up and ready to buy all of these new items that got released. But at the same time, it was kind of sad to see how bare it is. But I'm sure that when you guys come to this store, they'll probably restock, they'll have a lot more here. I also think they are hiding quite a bit behind the counter as well. So if you don't see it here, you could always ask a staff member, they'll probably find it for you. Once you're done bay hunting, the adventure continues. Head up to the eighth floor, and you'll find even more retail stores for things like clothes and shoes. You can literally find everything you need in this one building. I love that this store has an entire section for restaurants that serve delicious food. I really do believe that bay hunting in this store in Akihabara gives you the most complete experience. You can bay hunt here, get yourself some new clothes, fill up your stomach with some great food, and look at this. You can relax with a massage afterwards before you continue exploring the Akihabara area. Man, I love this store and I love Tokyo. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Those are all my favorite spots for bay hunting. Let us know down in the comment section below if you visit Tokyo and any of those spots, okay? I'm gonna go and spend the rest of my money here inside Gigo and uh, probably not win anything, honestly, because uh, I'm really bad at these, but when in Tokyo, right? All right, and as always, geeks out.